Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest where today we're gonna go capture those three sectors down here in the South Pole that you can barely see. Yep, we're talking about you 53, 262, and 263. 53 specifically though. If you weren't looking carefully you wouldn't know that this wasn't captured. So we're just gonna get rid of these three just so I know that this region is completely mine. Of course we only have three sectors today so that means we need to do a challenge. But what challenge would we do? I saw a recommendation for a challenge in the last video that said I can only use one item from each of the building tabs. Which, you know, I thought this is going to be difficult, but I think it's doable, especially if I choose the right items. I'm going to go into sector 30 real quick just so I can show you what I'm going to choose. And then we're just going to go from there. We're going to start at the high threat, of course. And then if I make some poor choices, we can always fix it for the extreme sectors. All right. All right. We can bring over some of these quads here. They can help me build some stuff. So I think for the turret, I'm going to choose Cyclone just because Cyclones are really good. They've, you know, they've done well so far and we're going to stick with that. Now for the drill tab, this is a hard choice. Uh, I think I'm actually just going to go with water extractor if we're not going to be having to mine anything. Then I can boost my turrets with the water. That would be good because that's like the only thing that I can do. I'm also going to go with titanium conveyors because they're the most versatile in this tab. Can't do bridges or anything, and I can't do routers. Oh, boy. That has thrown a fork into my plan. I'm sure we'll figure something out, though. Okay. So, on the liquid side, since I'm using the water extractor, I am going to go with the pulse conduit. If I hadn't chosen this, liquids would be off the table because I either couldn't pump them or couldn't move them. So, good thing I chose water extractor. Now, for power, this is another issue because I can choose RTG and then I can't direct power anywhere because I don't have the power nodes. And if I have the power nodes, I can't generate any power. So, we're going to go with RTG and we're going to do some serious jank to get that to work. But I think I have a plan for that. We're going to go with large surge walls. That's a freebie uh, for this. I think we're just going to go with cryofluid mixer. We're probably not going to make any, but we're going to have it. For units, we're going to go with the air factory, if you could please get out of the way. We're going to go with the air factory just so I can make the monos. I might change the rules of the uh, unit section just so I could have also the additive reconstructor. But we'll see. Maybe we'll do that on the extreme basis, but not the other ones. So now, this tab, we have to choose on loader or else we can't get anything from the core. So there will be no menders and there will be no overdrives. Oh boy. And also no force fields. This is not going to be fun. So I'm going to have to use units. But I can't use units because we only have monos. Yeah, and that's interesting. And then I guess I can just choose a logic processor. Probably won't figure out a use for that, but we can at least try, right? All right, so here's my lineup for the first sector. Let's give this a try. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it. All right, welcome to 262. We've been here before, but I don't remember why. Um, I'm sure it's fine. I'm also not going to rate this one because I don't want to make a fool of myself when I rate it differently than what I had previously. So, yeah. Anyways, let's grab our exports now before I build anything. Oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention, as per rules of the challenge, anything that is attached to the core when I land can stay. So these are going to stay for now. But everything that is here, minus the vaults, I could already build from the selections I've chosen. So it's not that bad. All right, exports have finally been acquired. And we did, in fact, lose one of our cyclones while we were away. Good thing I chose these to be one of my turrets. I mean, one of my... No, oh, dude. You know what? I can't speak today. I've had to cut out, like, so much garbage because I just, like, tripped over my own words. So we're leaving that one in. I only have one turret, and it's cyclone. Nice. You know how I said previously that power moving is going to be a problem well we don't we need see see what i mean i can't even speak man well what i meant to say was moving power was going to be a problem because we can't build power nodes we can only build the rtgs thing about that is though we don't need to move power because we don't have access to anything that really needs power and also i think the drop zone's right here and i think there's only one so what we're going to do is i'm going to get some surge walls and we are just going to fill in this side over here i don't have access to polys so this is going to take me 25 waves to build so we're just going to get a preliminary one layer wall while we figure out everything else we need to do okay so what are we dealing with we've got air and ground okay so theoretically if we wall it in from these two sides we should be fine and we will be building on water on both fronts which is good. That means I can use the pumps. All right, that's going to be what we're going to do. Oh, right. You know, I just had another thought. We're going to have to just hope 
there isn't a Corvus here, because if there is, we're dead. Maybe I should have chose Plastinium over Surge Walls. That's unfortunate. It's too late. Look how weak that is. Bro, look at the health on that wall. There's no way. Yeah, let's just do it. We're locking in Plastinium Walls. Wait, what? No, we're locking in Plastinium Conveyors. Bro, I, it, I can't speak, man. Okay, stop shooting that. Come here. There is no need for violence, says the man who's conquered half of the planet with extreme amounts of violence. Okay, thank you for dying. Now I can actually build something. Okay, so we're locking in Plastinium Conveyors as our only conveyor. So, the reason I chose Plastinium now over the uh, Titanium Belts is I can unload from it. I also could unload from the Titanium Belts, but it wouldn't be nearly as efficient. And since we are going to be... We're really just going to have to stack these up super high. Like, I'm going to have to make like maybe 30... 30 different turret walls, like bam, 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 you know? Because there's going to be a boss because it's 45 waves. And we can't have menders because we we literally just locked in on loaders. Yeah, it's going to be kind of rough. All right, we are now going to officially lock in mechanical pumps as well, just so I can have water in my turrets. Yeah, most of them aren't going to have that, but, well, not really much I can do about it, unfortunately. I think also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this wall with walls... Also, I'm going to try to line these turrets up because this is very janky looking and I'd like to try to fix it. Definitely forgot about that. Good thing I have the turrets on my core. Yeah, okay, cool. So that should do for that down there. That is an unnecessary bottleneck. Okay, so that wall is now turreted up. This wall is turreted up. You know, we also could just build another wall here. Uh, just a thick wall up here. There's no point in having turrets up here. Thick wall will always be good. Of course, it's going to take half a year to build, so. And the wall's finally built three waves later. Nice. All right. How are we doing down here? Looking fine. No walls have taken serious damage yet, which is good because it would take forever to fix them. All right, let's just see how many turrets I can cram in here now. So basically this line is just like the main supply line that's just going to get split off a whole bunch. So the deeper you get in, the less likely there are to be ammo, which is unfortunate because our front line is all the way at the bottom. So hopefully that'll get enough ammo to last, but we'll, we'll see, I guess. All right, there we go. We got that other fragment done. I think that's gonna be pretty good for the wall there isn't really another way that they can get in i'm fairly certain large walking units can't walk over this i can still see the background okay maybe they could walk over this but the real question is would they maybe i should just add a couple extra over here yeah we might as well right what, what do we have to lose time we're gonna be here forever Unfortunately, as inefficient as this is it does look pretty cool and i'm really tempted to just fill this space in I might just have to do it, you know. All right, we have finally got that all built. Yes, this is a very beefy looking defense. No, it is not efficient at all. Mostly because of ammo distribution. This is like the only way that like 90% of these turrets get ammo and it is down to this one unloader. I will say, it looks really cool. I'm thinking it's the color scheme. You know, it's mostly this kind of silvery mind industry silvery color yellow and black which is you know that's pretty good color scheme and there's a little bit of green mix in there too to distinct to make the uh the conveyors distinct it's kind of nice i like it but it is way overkill probably and it took 18 waves to build this i also didn't have any capabilities of building faster because you know i don't have access to polys because like but anyway Yep, wall's done. Looking good. Um, I might just go beef up this wall over here because uh, I think this is a lot thicker than five surge walls. So let's just kind of thicken this up a little bit. All right, I have no idea how long that took because I was kind of just idly clicking on the uh, next wave button, but we have the wall done now, so I guess we can watch our enemies get obliterated. Also, haven't seen the pop-up for the Guardian yet, which is a bit weird because we're at wave 26. Normally, it would give a pop-up by now, but I don't know. It'll be here soon, I bet. 
Let's just hope it's something I can actually take care of, though. Yep, they don't even stand a chance, but they take so long to get here. Oh, there it is. Oh, great. Well, I may or may not have just built all of this just to get obliterated by a Corvus, but we're going to try to do the old fly around in a circle and shoot him in the back trick. There's no point waiting around for these enemies to just waltz up here, so um, I'm just going to kind of chop out a little bit of my defensive wall just so I can, you know, speed things along a little bit. We're going to go build a little tower down here. It's going to get destroyed eventually, but I don't really care. I just want to get rid of these units quicker so I can see my entire defense fall. Okay, the ammo's like right here. Like, come on, man, please. Why do there have to be like 30 million fortresses here? Oh, come on, we're right there. All right, perfect. That's recoverable. Another thing that I could do, I could just cut off this ammo line and rebuild the wall over there because this is probably going to be enough ammo to last. Now, the real question is, are the fortress going to have high enough range to shoot these? They are. Okay, well... That's unfortunate. I think they've decided to target the wall, though, so that's good. We're just going to have to come down here and replace the wall every time. A lot better than replacing the entire turrets, though. All right, wall's been reconstructed. Let's just get this over with. We know we're going to die to the Scorvus. Let's just, let's just end the suffering early. All righty. This is it. Moment of truth. So I'm just gonna make sure everything over here is basically as repaired as I can get. Yep, this is looking good. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the old ring around the rosy strategy. I'm gonna try to fly around it in circles and then hopefully it shoots at me and not my wall. And hopefully this can do as much damage as it could before it gets blown up. I doubt it'll get through this entire ammo line, but we can hope. Here we go. Okay, it is going after me. Very good. Yeah, stupid. Couldn't hit me if you tried, idiot. Oh! Oh, you missed! Oh! Womp womp. Why am I on fire? Oh, you're dumb, you're dumb. Not nah, stupid. Oh no. There's a drone. Oh! Oh, no, oh, 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 oh! Skill issue, skill issue. You know what? These four cyclones down here are actually killing this thing. What? I thought these things were supposed to be scary. What happened? Man, I was fretting over nothing. Are you telling me that I built this entire defense just for the Corvus to die like that? What am I doing? Well, anyways, I guess we can get this sector done now because it's not gonna... It's not gonna be that difficult. Oh, right, yeah, that was the last wave. I forgot to even say anything. Well, yep, this sector was pretty easy after the Corvus died. And these guys are going to be obliterated, and that will be the hard sector done. Yep. See ya, bye. Very nice. All right. Well, that took, like, ten years, so I am going to change the rules up a little bit for the extreme sectors. Not by too much, but just enough that it won't take half a year. So, I am going to now allow everything in here mostly because I can just build whatever kind of units I want. That'll make things a little more interesting. And also, I'm gonna go turn on the time control mod, because that would be nice. Oh, hi guys. Got a bit of a problem here. So when I uh, went to go turn on the time control mod, I stopped recording and then didn't start recording again. So anyways, we're on wave 41. Um, here's the sector we've got. Um, you can kind of see it's a pretty good sector. It's got everything except for scrap on it. Um, there's about uh, three different thorium veins under this wall. They're very big. So the sector's very nice. And uh, also, it is 263, by the way, which is the other one that we were going to go after. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look at everything that we've done. So uh, as you can see here, I decided, you know, we can do all the units. So I made a little poly factory, but of course, getting power over there was kind of a problem. So I had to kind of snake some RTGs around. But we managed to get our polys in the end. And then we got some unloaders going up to different uh, turret walls. On the right here, some zenith started showing up. So I added some turrets over here. And then some quads started showing up. 
Uh, yeah, you can see them right here. They just spawned in all the way over here. So we got this giant wall to make sure the enemies don't go this way. We got two drop zones, one here and one here. We've got the main wall right here and then the other air defense over there. Very unhappy that I forgot to hit record again because this was a pretty interesting sector because there's been uh, there's been some tier 5 uh, crawlers, also known as rain. We've had to fight two different waves of those, two each, so four total. And y'all missed it because I didn't hit record. Yeah! So, uh, anyway, I managed to hit record now, though, so that's good, I guess. You guys can watch the last 15 ways of this sector. Fantastic! But yeah, basically, it's just been quad shows up, falls on our base, blows it up, we have to rebuild it, rinse, repeat. That's basically what it's been the whole time. Where is that one going? That's starting to concern me. You're not supposed to go that way. Why? That's never happened before, and now I'm worried. Great. Oh yeah, another thing that I noticed while I was doing this, uh, I've been cheating the entire time and I didn't even realize it. Uh, yeah, um, let, let, let me uh, let me just sit here and let's see if you guys can spot what it is. Alright, so for all of you who have probably been yelling at me in the comments since the day I placed one of these, these two items are different and they're in the same category. Great. What a fantastic video this has been. Man, first off, I can't speak. Second off, I cheated in the challenge without even realizing it. And then third off, I forget to record an entire sector. This has been going great. God dang it. Well, at least we can finish this sector out. I mean, technic I mean, is it really cheating, though? I mean, these really don't do that much. They just kind of look nice. Eh. I guess we'll just keep going until this sector's done. Oh, and apparently 198 was under attack and it got captured. I don't know, man. Let's just get this sector over with so I can give a full sector on the next one. Alright. You know what? Last wave. Let's just send it. Yep. Say goodbye. To sector 263. Man, you know how satisfying that would have been if that crashed right as I said that? But no, we have to have the stupid horizons over here shooting the wall. Go down into my turrets. Thank you. There we go. Sector captured. Congratulations, we got it. Alright. Well, I don't have much to say about that because I said everything, but I don't remember what I said because you guys didn't hear any of it. Great! Let's go get 53. Let's do this. And I'm going to try not to use the small walls this time. I'm only going to use the large ones. Ugh. Alrighty, looks like we're missing some oil here, and I think... Yeah, this is this is a decent sector, but it's not that great, because I believe this is the only sand that's not really enough to do anything with. So, other than the minor sand issue, and then also the lack of thermal, again, it's not a bad sector. We got some decent-sized veins. We got, I think, a scrap ranger somewhere. Other than that, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly good sector. Wait. Hmm. All right, well, after that, a very interesting shape in the ground. We have acquired our exports, and we lost a bunch of turrets because I was gone for so long. But other than that, it's fine. And also, I have just unfortunately secured my place with cyclones and unloaders for this sector. Great. All right, let's go see what we're dealing with. And before we do that, let's actually get our units down because I cannot live without building units because building takes forever. I guess we can check the uh, map to see where the drop zones are. We got two drop zones. Okay, so we can choke it off here. That's going to be easy. We can choke it off here or maybe down there. All right, this should be a very simple sector to do. We just have to build everything. All right, yeah, I think that's just going to have to do it, you know. Um, I'm actually just going to plan all this out right now. Yeah, I. this is going to be interesting. Hopefully the enemies will all die to the walls here, and that looked like air units. Oh, fantastic. We're going to have to build extra turrets. Ah! Oh man, I really built that janky. Dude, am I stupid or something? Don't answer that. Okay, well that should probably be good for this one up here. Uh, yeah, it looks good to me. How did you guys get here? Oh, whatever. Oh, there's actually three drop points. 
Oh, God. All right, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's add an extra line of these suckers right up here. You guys didn't see this, but I saw this. At basically exactly wave seven of the last sector, this exact thing happened. So I bet it's going to be the exact same enemy, so we're going to have to deal with quads again. But I guess what we could do is we could choose our factory to be the Silicon Crucible, because we're never going to really deal with that. We can also place down a bunch of RTGs over here, because we've already selected those as our power producer. And then just hope everything goes for that. Unless they're going for that, which then they cross right by the wall. That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I didn't... I. Did that completely unintentionally, but also I did that on purpose because I'm the best. All right, there we go. I'm being thrown on a couple extra walls in here. So hopefully that will deal with our uh, air unit issues. Let's find out if it does. Should be some coming. Is this really just a ground only wave? Come on, dude. The one time that I need there to be air units so I can actually see if my defenses work, there's none. Typical. All right, so that should probably hold. If they do get past this, they'll run into this and then die immediately. Hopefully that is the goal at least. I think this will do just fine. Oh, great. Okay. It's an eclipse. Why is that not good? It's because it's an air unit, and there's going to be three of them, and I don't know where they're going to want to go. So we're going to have to kind of up our uh, air defenses. I honestly don't know where they're going to go. Up there, it's good enough, man. All right. Yep, there we go. That's some more shoreline over there. I guess I could also throw some down over on this side. I really have thrown efficiency out the window at this point because it's, ju it's just not going to serve me well. We've got so much time in between the waves. I just want to have turrets i don't care how they're getting ammoed i don't care if they're getting ammoed more turret more firepower more success the amount of resources i spent on unloaders is extremely high here we go yep that's exactly what i was worried about there's three of them fantastic two down there and one up here okay so they're pathing it looks like they're going straight for the core this could be bad this one's going straight for the core. We got to get back there right now and build more defenses. Okay, um, we're, we can't even watch. We just have to defend. Okay, literally, okay, one of them's taking damage right now. Yep, it's the wall. Wall shooting this one. I can't tell how low it is because it's just constantly under fire. And it has destroyed a lot of our ammo supply, which is really not good. Hopefully this one falls before it reaches the other side. It, it that one died first? Okay, well, that one's close. This one's right here. Oh no! Okay, that one's gonna fall very soon. This one, I don't know if we have enough turrets to deal with this. Oh boy, it's gonna be close. That one just blew up? Come on. Oh god, oh god, Polly's get out of the way. Core's under attack. Ah, it's on fire! Wait, 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 oh no. I didn't think about this. Uh, repair. Core. Okay. Well, now we have a problem. Okay, so we need to get, like, some of these guys, you guys get on rebuild. Um, maybe not the course, uh, the, oh god. Okay, hold on. Yeah, just get, let's get rid of these. We don't need this. It's just the core. Okay. Now, the core's on fire, and it's going to stay on fire. There's flammable things in the core, because I can't use Tsunami, because I've already chose Cyclone. So this is going to be on fire forever. I can't unload any more ammo because I had to break the containers. And I can't place them back because they died of the fire. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to really quickly see if I can build a container. Okay, we got it. Now, you guys, back to repairing. So I need to figure out how to put this fire out. So let's go to the core database and look at everything and figure out what's flammable. Plastinium is flammable. We have to get rid of it. And blast. Pla blast compound and plastinium got to go. And I've already used my factory, so I can't even use the incinerators. Dang it. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to have to take them out by hand. All right, well, this is going to be fun. Oh, it's put out. Oh, okay. Well, it finally fizzled out after I got rid of all the blast combat. 
What was that? Uh, the vaults and the containers. Uh, technically, I can't rebuild them, but whoops. Uh, whoa, they just re look at this. They're reappearing in real time. Whoa, that's crazy. How'd that happen? I've never seen that before. Well, anyways, we're gonna have to deal with that again because there's gonna be more eclipses. So let's go deal with the problem before it happens. Yep, this is gonna be incredibly slow to fill up. I don't care. Well, there we go. That should hopefully hold. Okay. Well, I think that'll do. Um, you know, this sector had no right being as stressful as it is. And yet here we still are. Okay, well, let's just start clearing some waves, I suppose. Slap it on 4x speed and let's see what's happening. And there they are. Okay, I was correct. Ten more waves until we have to deal with that again. Now, last sector, two came the first time because there were two drop zones. Two came the second time because there were two drop zones. It did not double. If there's six, I'm going to throw my computer out the window. All right. Take two. Here we go. Okay, it looks like there's still only three. Thank you for that. I don't have to deal with six of them. All right. Good. The whole point of that wall was to just blow up, and it did exactly what I built it for. All right, we just got these two now. I think this is the one last time that got to my core and lit it on fire. So hopefully it'll die very quickly. This one got smoked by, I think, this area. All right. See, now this is the point where it made it, but we have more turrets over here this time, so goodbye. They both blew up at the same time. Okay, remember when I said more turret equals more firepower? I was correct. All right, I think that's it. I think we're gonna capture this sector now. Hello, Antumbra. Goodbye, Antumbra. Hello, second Antumbra. I guess third. And goodbye. Sector captured. Okay, this sector had no right being as stressful as it was. Then again, my core was on fire, and there is nothing more stressful than having your core on fire and not being able to put it out because you don't have access to water. All right. All right, with that being said, now we have this entire region kind of fully sealed off. There's no holes poked in it. You can draw a line around the outside, and it will be a perfect kind of area. Nice. All right. Now, next episode, this place has got to go. I think we can take down this entire thing in one episode. That's going to be the goal. How am I going to edit that in time? I have no idea because, you know, it takes a very long time to edit each and every single sector. And there's probably like 50 in here. So I'll figure something else out to deal with that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. But yeah, next episode, this entire south area falls. And if that happens, the entire south side of the planet will be captured. We will only have the North Pole to go. Very exciting stuff. We're getting close to the end. Well, that's going to be it today then. Uh, I'm going to sit at this core that was on fire and tell it to never be on fire again. Goodbye.